Hello everyone, this is a must anticipated equipment tour on our Autumn Oak series. So I tried to focus this series in between the 80s and early 90s period equipment. Some of the equipment may be a little bit newer just because I could not find a good older mod. So let's get started. This is Stevio here on Autumn Oaks. So I'd like to show you around our new farmyard here. So first, we got an old style American house because if you don't know, this is where we're gonna start out old, probably 80s to early 90s at the earliest, and then move and modernize our farm. So we will start looking at some of our placeables. So we do have this horse barn here. Got a few horses already. I believe we have three horses as a horse walks through walls. Mysterious horses they are. So we're gonna have horses on this farm. Actually four horses, sorry. So we got a few horses. We're gonna have chickens, don't have any yet. Got a little chicken coop because we need the eggs. This is a serious farm here. Also, always have to have our shop barn here. Beautiful looking old shop barn. And inside we have a 6000 series John Deere sprayer. Old school sprayer, row crop edition. So we have uh, another barn where we're going to store uh, hay and straw in. We got our little pig barn over here. Don't have any pigs yet. We'll move on up to them. Also, we got one of my favorite tractors, a 4020. Little uh, sunshade on it, pulling the water tank. And we have this 4640. Love the looks of this. Got a little cab tent going on. It's pulling a uh, slurry spreader. You got to listen to this thing start up. I just love the sound of that beautiful sounding tractor here. So good looking mod here really impressed with it so far so that's going to be one of my favorite tractors that might stay on the farm we might not modernize this this we can always find a good use for it 4640 also we got a 24 valve cummins on here it's pulling the cow trailer right now cattle trailer Got a few cattle in here, not too many. I think we have 10, so we're gonna have a feedlot on this series. So just starting out really, really small. We got a 1586 loader tractor here. This will most likely be on our feeder wagon. So couldn't find an old feeder wagon, so we went with the one of the a coon. I believe this is a four, a 142 coon knight. Of course we have to have our 4440 here. So beautiful looking we're gonna use it as a loader tractor. So another good looking mod we have. We have a old school silage silo here. Probably get a lot of use of that. Now for our lawn art, we have a McCormick W9. So in a John Deere gas 720 with power steering. It's another good little trike tractor we have there. Of course we have our 
shop here. Some code storage. We have a Massey Ferguson old school 7-Eleven and a 4850 John Deere, one of our newer tractors we have. The J&M 875 grain cart. Probably our newest tractor, uh, 7800. So I believe this was the 90s when this came out. This is most likely be our planter tractor. So might have started just a little bit too new, but love the looks of the tanks on it. Good looking tractor. So probably the newest piece of equipment we have on here. And it's most likely because I can't find a good old school combine that is a good mod. Like this is a really good looking mod in here. Inside the track, inside the combine, sorry, it looks really good. So everything that I found was basically, let's just say FS. 15 style so I know there is a 9600 and there's a 8820 out there but like I said them could have passed in FS 15 we got a John Deere 12 roll head 30 inch roll so I couldn't find an old school swather so we had to go with uh, I believe this is a Russian swather definitely old school but it's a self-propelled swather so there's not many good American old school self-propelled swathers out there that I found and another Russian chopper so if this is a Russia Nope. no don't know what that is so definitely Russian or version of it got a slurry another slurry spreader we got a Massey Ferguson on the lime spreader there got a John Deere disc got a batwing mower and a few Chevy dump trucks so old school definitely saw a lot of them out in the day when I was growing up we got a Case IH 10 foot disc, I think, here. I believe that's 10 foot. Now, a few old manure spreaders. We got a New Holland 185 and an HS 3137. So, we got another new piece of equipment basically because I can't find a good 35 foot old school head out there or 30 foot head at least so we got went with the Mechdon we got a Alice Chalmers chisel here in a New Holland little square 378 Baylor with a little wagon there and a John Deere chisel that's the head for our chopper some little uh, forge wagons here and I think we'll jump into our truck So we'll jump in into our Ford F-250-70 with the fire paddle in the back window. So this farm is built on top of the hill. So just to show you the land we own. So we own this piece of land. That's what we're started out with. So this is... The highest point of the map I believe so we get a good view of all of our farmland we also own this grass patch right here so we're gonna head on down so this is basically the new farm 
This old farm down here is the parents' house, so we'll head on down to the parents' house. We got a few pieces of equipment there. This is where our grain silos are, or grain bins. Oh, gotta shut that off, always forget. We got the Great Plains 3000 HD grain drill here. And we do have one semi with a Wilson trailer on back. So this is a 1974 W900 Kenworth. Good looking old school truck here. One of my favorite older trucks here. Pretty good looking inside the cab here. And also we got a 1590 John Deere smaller drill. our parents house there so we have an old wheel rake coon don't really know if this is too old but it's definitely they made this version of rake for many years ago we got a uh, anhydrous draw bar drill a little anhydrous tank on and a little chisel down here So we're starting off small and hard, so we don't have the amount of equipment we usually start out with. But, beans we're starting out hard, I didn't have that much equipment. So, I just, after I built the farmyard, I gave the normal amount you get, 1250000 with a $250,000 loan. And that's where we're down. And I believe we still have about 350,000 left so we don't have no more loan to spin so that's everything so we definitely need to have a little bit of fudge room because we don't want to go bankrupt on our new farm here so we do have some crops pre-planted I believe we got some corn and some soybeans and the grass field is already planted so I'm really looking forward to this hard start old school series here we're still gonna keep farming in Ohio so don't be worried might do like a every other day type post here so definitely this is gonna focus mostly around the animals so we're de definitely gonna have all the animals don't know if we'll expand any of the farmyard here but we will definitely have every animal possible so we'll have cattle pigs chickens and horses here so i'm really looking forward to this series the old school hard start series so hopefully you all come and join us and i will see you later on autumn oaks <laughs>